Uh, yes, you're most welcome in this session. In this session, we are going to talk about the kind of stick pattern called the hammer or the pin bar. Uh, uh, when you look here, the hammer kind of stick is quoted when the open, high, and close are roughly the same price. You know, when you see this this pin bar, you can call it a, a dragonfly doji. This is pin bar can call the dragonfly doji but the difference between the dragonfly doji and the pin bar and this pin bar is that the pin bar the open high and close are roughly the same but on the dragonfly do do doji the open high and close are the same as you see the pin bar has a small body then the dragonfly doji it has no body it has a thin body but this one has a thick body. I think you have now differentiated between them. It is also characterized by a longer, lower shadow. That indicates a bullish injection, re rejection from buyers and their intention to push the market higher. See this pin bar indicates that our sellers were, our sellers were pushing the market down. They got overwhelmed by buyers and they push the market up yeah closing price opening price uh, but when we when when we talk about uh, the pin bar uh, the dragonfly doji the dragonfly doji is like this the dragonfly doji is like this so this is a difference you're seeing a pin bar this is now the pin bar so I think you can see the, the difference. So don't no worry, don't confuse yourself. And the hammer is a reverse candlestick pattern. When when it occurs at the bottom of a downtrend, we are going to see this kind of forms when sellers push the market lower after the open, but. Uh, they get rejected by buyers so the market closes higher than the lower price as I, as I have told you before so you see our sellers our sellers were trying to push the, uh, to pull the market down they got rejected by buyers they got over, overwhelmed by forming uh, a pin bar and so they they always form it at either a support now this one was was formed at a, a support level support line and we're going to see all, all all that the trend line the support and resistance lines we're going to 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 talk about them in the future As you can see, the market was was trending down. The formation of the hammer or pin bar was a significant reversal pattern. The long shadow represents the high buying pressure from this point. The sellers was trying to push the market lower, but in in the in that level, the buyers buzz bar was more powerful than the selling pressure, which results in the trend reversal. The most important to understand is the psychology behind the formation of this pattern. If you can understand how and why it was formed, it, it, it was created, you will be able to predict the market direction with a high accuracy. We will talk about how to trade this pattern and how to filter this signal in the next chapter. Now, we are now on the shooting star uh, or the bearish pin bar, the inverted pin bar. Uh, you also don't confuse it with the gravestone doji because here also the open low and close are roughly the same, but on the gravestone doji, uh, the open low and close are the same, clearly the same. So the shooting for the shooting form formation is formed when the open low and close are roughly the same price. This candle is characterized by a small body 
and a long upper shadow. It is the bearish version of the hammer pro professional technicians say that the shadow should be twice the length of the real body in order to be confirmed as a pin bar. See the illustration below. The illustration above shows as a perfect shooting star with a real small body and an upper long shadow. When this pattern occurs in an uptrend, it indicates the, a, a bearish reversal signal. When the candlestick forms near a resistance level, it should be taken as a high probability setup if it is from a near resistance level. This one here, as the buyers were taking control of the market, they got overwhelmed by sellers, hence, sellers taking control of the market. The chart above shows a nice shooting star at the end of an uptrend. The formation of this pattern indicates that indicates the end of the uptrend move and the beginning of a, of a new downtrend. This candlestick pattern can be used with support and resistance supply and demand areas and with technical indicators. The shooting star is very easy to identify and it is very profitable. It is one of the most powerful signals that I use to enter the market. In the next ch ch chapters, I will talk about it in details and i will also show you step by step how to make money trading these price actions pattern and we shall do it together so at uh, this step uh, let's go through the learning objectives of this lecture uh, so we are now here on the learning objectives We are talking about the hammer and the shooting star, or, or, or the bullish pin, pin bar and the bearish pin bar. Now here it's anatomy, or or how, or how it, it is formed. So now it's anatomy, the, an, the anatomy of the bullish pin bar, uh, of the bullish pin bar, it tells us that uh, this, uh, this candlestick pattern was formed as sellers were trying to push down the market. They made that candlestick. And they, they, in that kind of thing, they were pushing the market down, but they got overwhelmed by the buyers. Hence, the market changing the reversal. Okay, changing the trend, reversing. So the psychology behind its formation is that as sellers were trying to push the market, I mean, the psychology behind its formation, that is why it is formed why it is formed this bullish pin bar or the hammer is formed to indicate that buyers has taken over the market as sellers were trying to push down the market they got overwhelmed by buyers and they took over the market then the anatomy is, is different from that so what it indicates when it is formed at the bottom of the downtrend when it is found at the bottom of the downtrend, it indicates a bullish reversal. It indicates a bullish trend reversal. Then what the long shadow indicates, it indicates the high buying pressure. Then the anatomy of the shooting star or the bull or the bearish pin bar, it indicates uh, its anatomy is that 
buyers were, were trying to push the market up and they got overwhelmed by sellers hence changing of the trend <laughs> that is how the, the penny bar was formed uh, as, as buyers were trying to push the market up they, they were overwhelmed by sellers hence uh, the opening and close the open high and close roughly being at the same roughly being uh, uh, being the same that is how they were formed the anatomy i repeat the anatomy of the of the bullish i repeat the, the, the anatomy of the bullish of the bullish was created when the open high and close are roughly the same price that is the anatomy of that then the anatomy also of the bearish is that they were formed when the open low and close are roughly the same price so that is the and the, uh, the anatomy then the psychology behind the formation of the bearish pin bar is that as buyers were trying to push the market up they got overwhelmed by sellers hence the change of river of the of the trend so they changed their trend and the and the market but uh, the sellers took control of the market so what the long shadow indicates the long shadow on the bearish pin bar indicates a high selling pressure thanks for watching if you're new on this platform subscribe comment and like